welcome to Mickey Art. My name's Michelle Edhouse and today I'm finally going to pour this hook thing, coat hook rack thing for my in-laws. Um, there's been a couple of videos where I've been playing with colours and um, so we came up with a colour system in the last video that they liked. So here that is. And um, so now I've got to try and reproduce that on this big long piece of wood. Um, this piece of wood has obviously been a coat rack in their house for many, many, many decades. Um, so we're going to hope that the acrylic paint that's on top of the oil-based paint here is not going to do anything weird and wonky underneath. It is not smooth. I have given it a bit of a sand. It's not perfect there was three hooks on there as you can see whoever painted last didn't do a very good job of cutting in uh, so I'm going to soak that off before putting those back on um, and oops. so how did we do it last time well what we did was we used a little bit of burnt sienna and a little bit of grass green and we mix those together there's a bit of water in the bottom of this but that's not going to be a problem now the one they liked is was actually the runoff of the original pour so <clears throat> let's see what we can create so this is my house paint which is um, for those of you in New Zealand and Australia, it's from Bunnings, and it's um, spring indoor outdoor acrylic paint, which for those in the States is the equivalent of latex paint. And we also put a couple of drops of um, Mars Black in there to get those stripes. So let's have a look and see if this is going to do the job. <laughs> oh, that's getting really dark. More white, more white. More kingdom for more white. Oh dear. Yes, dear. No. Michelle's not excited about that. That's just way too white. Oh dear. And I, you know what I've also done? I've left all the holes unfilled. So we've got like plug holes here. Just draining it all off. Okay, gonna just make sure the whole thing is damp before I start to tilt. The bonus of dampening it all is it gives it more chance of it running. Um, this is going to be a lot of wasted paint, sorry guys. Now, although this coat hook has had many, many, many coats of paint, the top and bottom actually haven't been, some of them, is, parts of it is actually still pure wood. So just picking this paint up, running it down the sides. This end is almost fresh cut wood down here. So 
Sorry about my arm. Let me gather up some more paint. Try not to get my jacket in it. It is a painting jacket, but it's it'll affect the paint job. Not I'm not worried about getting paint on the jacket. Tapping the sides to make sure it's all covered. I must say, I'm not overly excited. Let's see. We've we got a bit more. And again, just giving it a little bit more chance <laughs> to be vaguely even. I'm hoping you guys can see what's happening down here. It is so far away and so white. really actually see the grass green through there it doesn't look like it blended hugely there's a stripe at this end that I'm just gonna run off so that it's not a straight line but I'm actually really liking that I'm glad I put those extra bits in see how green that bit looks that's so interesting How's it get any better than that? I quite like it. And it does actually remind me more of their sink bench than the original did. Than um, like the, the piece of cardboard that I showed you at the beginning did. Um, now there's no silicone in any of this, but I am going to torch it purely to get air bubbles out there's two reasons for torching one of them is to get cells and one of them is to pop air bubbles because when you leave air bubbles in a painting it can actually um, sometimes they dry in a way that um, leaves holes in the painting so if you've got little pinholes in your paintings and you're not sure why that's happening that would probably be my first place to look is check for air bubbles I've got holes in my painting but that's the screw holes <laughs> Very importantly, when I leave this to dry, I'm going to need to make sure that the um, that I put it sitting on something that's dry and clean. Because right now, I've done a really silly thing and put my support tins underneath. Because, of course, I put three tins in, right? And three tins is um exactly where the three hooks were so they've got holes all the way through uh anyway let me get you down and show you what we have okay let's start down this end sometimes you get a little bit close with the flame and if you're quick enough it, all it does is it kind of does this it creates these tiny little cell blotches um any cells that you see in here are either the Floetrol 
because I mix all my paints with Floetrol and water. So it's either Floetrol or it is, ooh, there's a big lump in there. Um, the, what's that? What are you doing? Focus. There. Um, the specific gravities of the paint. Check out how it's all flowed down the holes and made those funky, funky little shapes. Ha! <laughs> Pity that's going to be covered by the hooks. Anyway, I really like it. I'm hoping they do, and I'm hoping it dries well. So I'm going to leave this to dry, and I'll be back to show you the end result in three, two, one. Ta-da! Well, I have started reassembling it. Um, it's dry because it's house paint and acrylic paint it doesn't require to be sealed um, it's you know it's not going to be a high traffic area it's just something for decoration in my um, in-laws place so it really is totally safe as it is so uh, yeah I don't know if you guys know this. Let me let me introduce you to some of the techniques. This turning notch, not all drills have them, but the new ones do. The ones in the last 50 years. <laughs> These, um, this defines how much torque it will allow it to you do before it stops. Um, if you have it on drill, it will just go and go and go. If you have it on one of these other ones, it will stop with less and less pressure. So the more, the lower the number, the less pressure it will allow before it goes, I can't do this anymore. I'm a pathetic pile of screwdriver. So let's just, come on, there you go. Why is it not going straight? It's not even going on. That's really weird. My demonstration has been foiled. See, see what that just did? It hit a little bit of a hard, hard area, and it and it did that. Did it? Did it? And stopped. It's not doing it. It's not. But if I crank that up a bit to number eight. It takes it down. It'll take more. It'll it'll grind through more pressure than it would on a number two. So, but once it hits something like that, it stops. It doesn't try and keep digging. And what we saw on this one, because it was on the drill, it kept trying to spin, even though it had gone as far as it could and that's what rips out the top of a screw so if you are using a drill as a screwdriver which I do regularly that is a good hint to know there we go so let me get you down and take you for a quick um, quick tour of the piece now that it's reassembled and then I can Go and get it installed. Yay! Okay. So just gonna scoot along. I will sign this before I take it to them so that they can have a signed piece of Mickey art. They've actually got a few pieces of mine in their home. Um, right back from when I was doing landscapes and all sorts of stuff. So they've been a great supporter of mine. And I adore them. I adore them. 22 years I've had these beautiful people in my life. How did I get so lucky? Alright guys, so here is the photo of uh, it on the bench. So let me know, did I do well? Put a comment in the comments. Did I, did I, did I match the colours reasonably well? <laughs> um, and here is the photo of it hanging on the wall. 
not particularly great lighting I must admit but um, how does it get any better than that my father-in-law insists that we need to put some paint on the screws to um, you know make it match I just think it's part of the part of the uh, whole piece really so I've had fun this is you know you guys have followed me through the process of practicing colors and and now having it to a finished completed piece what do you think I like it and that's all that matters to me they like it and that's all that matters to them but what do you get what do you like do you like it all right guys I adore you thank you for joining me uh, if you are choosing to join me on the live streams then make sure you are signed up uh, I will be going live soon so um, what else is possible I adore you have fun bye bye